Point Weather 12 forecast. Well, nothing has changed as far as a winter storm. It's on the way for Saturday evening, Saturday night into Sunday. The calm before the storm, we are cold and dry. Uh, some changes to the forecast. One is the uh, arrival time and two, uh, adjusting some of the snowfall amounts. All right, okay, scorecards out. We have so much to cover. So we're quiet in Lincoln, partly cloudy skies. Boy, cold today, cold tonight. Heading out this evening, uh, the weather looks fine. Lincoln, of course, northern Rhode Island, one of the areas that will see the most snow. And it's going to be one of those typical uh, winter storm setups where the northern part of the state, especially the northwest part of the state, gets more snow. There's not nearly as much as you get closer and closer to the ocean. So our threat tracker tonight and, and the daylight hours of Saturday look fine. You're running errands on Saturday morning and afternoon looking okay. Okay, but the arrival time of the precipitation has been sped up. Initially, we we're thinking like 10, 11 o'clock. Now it's going to be more like starting around 8 o'clock in the evening and then really picking up. So weather alert for Saturday night and on into Sunday. So the timeline showing that clouds are on the increase Saturday day. Snow developing sooner. Feel as though the heaviest of the snow and perhaps the bulk of the accumulation could occur during this time period. It, it, it wouldn't surprise me if it snowed at a rate half inch to an inch an hour during that 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. time frame. And then if you're up early on Sunday morning, don't be surprised to see a little rain and sleet mixing in. And that's what, and what makes the, uh, the accumulation forecast so tough. If it were staying all snow, it'd be easy to do the math, but it's very complicated when you when you add in different types of precipitation. One thing we should point out uh, later Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, a rapid, rapid temperature drop. Whatever's wet or slushy is going to freeze up very quickly and become icy. So we're quiet across New England. We had this uh, cold front that, that passed through last night that giving us the cold air. There's our storm system now across the southeast. This will track north and east arriving here Saturday evening. Now here we are Saturday morning. Uh, the gray just represents the increase in the clouds, but staying dry. Jump ahead now to this is 8 o'clock in the evening. Notice the blue indicating the snow is just starting, but look how close the green is. That's rain and some sleet along the south shore. So some snow, steady snow Saturday night. Pre-dawn Sunday, these speckles of green indicating some rain and sleet mixing in. And how long that sticks around will dictate the final snowfall amounts. But regardless, as we get towards later Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon on the backside of the storm, the temperature just tumbles. If you're going to the Patriots game, coming home, it is exceptionally cold and windy. Things will be freezing up, so be careful. Uh, and then snow pulling away early Sunday evening and into Sunday night. So the accumulate, well, first of all, temperature plays a huge part as to, you know, how we predict how much snow will fall. But with milder air coming in off the ocean, these areas shaded in yellow, if you have milder temperatures, then it's hard to support all snow. Whereas the further north and west you go, the air is certainly colder. And that's why the most snow is going to be right up in here. So it's mostly snow. The areas in blue and pink, it'll be a combination of snow, sleet and rain and the areas in green along the south shore, mainly rain and sleet, though you'll end as some snow. So final snowfall accumulations by Sunday. We've trimmed this back just a little bit. Uh, north and west of uh, Providence, six to nine inches. In fact, let me give you a more detailed uh, hyper local look here. Uh, six to nine inches north and west of Providence. So it can be as little as six to as much as nine. Three to six Providence metro area. So it can be as little as three or as much as six. Then the amounts are much lower. I want to show you a unique kind of an accumulation um, forecast. I know this is a lot to digest. Let me step out of the way. Uh, but we're forecasting, you know, specific towns in alphabetical order. This is Rhode Island, and then we can switch over to Southeastern Mass. I know it's hard to digest this all in like 10 seconds. So go to our website. All right, WPRI.com. And then there's a little drop down menu called uh, Weather Now. It's our discussion that we update constantly, and you can find that specific town by town accumulation forecast. And, and, and very useful considering we're in the smallest state in the country. So we really kind of break it down for you in detail. But bottom line, still a high impact storm Saturday evening, Saturday night into Sunday. All right, Tony, thank you. And another segment of our new digital original beyond the forecast is now on WPRI.com throughout the snow or throughout the show, I should say. Tony and Stephen Matragrano answer your weather questions you've submitted today. They answered questions about this weekend's storm, like will there be a chance the storm cancels flights on Sunday? I would imagine that there could be some delays at that time, but probably not a cancellation. If this were, uh, if the height of the storm were really, you know, continuing into Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening, while it will still be snowing, um, 
So I'm thinking that it, that flight is probably doable, but maybe with a delay. And again, you can see beyond the forecast right now on our website, WPRI.com.